<laughs> that, trust me, man, that's my process with a lot of my thumbnails. Besides like the little emote ones that I use, I, I envision a face that I want to make and then, then I try to imitate it and then like, I try to use my eyes to like see if I'm actually doing it. Then I crop it and then there you go, thumbnail. <laughs> oh, you want to see it? All right, I'll, uh, I'll put it on big screen. I know, I know, it's crazy. And then it just ends, yeah, nothing happened. There you go. <laughs> there you go, dude. What do you even think about when doing that? I'm thinking about, I'm trying to get a, get a, a sick thumbnail right now. <laughs> uh, oh my god, that guy should not have died. Maybe a dumb question, but would you say just playing ranked is the best way to improve at the game? I'm X rank, but looking to get better. Rank will be a thing over time if you play it a whole bunch. Uh, it will improve you individually as a player. Yeah, over time, yes. Any tips to get better? Are you playing gyro? You're playing gyro, okay, good start. So do you apply the logic of being within stalemates and only pushing when you have man advantage? So like right now for me, myself, I have no reason to push. I mean, it, obviously it depends on your weapon that you're playing, but Usually I don't have any reason to push if like the squid count, however you want to say it, is uh, is even basically. So it's like a thing where I'm like playing fairly passive, looking for picks, and then only ever pushing in when I know that uh, we got, well, if I have the edge on somebody or we have specials to push in or something like that, you know. Okay, three people down, I'm gonna use that time to move more frequently around the map. Literally, since everyone's down now, I'm gonna move anywhere I want because we can. And uh, I'm gonna take control while doing it too. Or paint up a bunch while doing it too. I mean, everything is different. Like, some weapons, like, I'm probably gonna paint a lot more than others. With my weapon, it's a uh, weapon right now. Uh, I'm probably gonna use a lot of my time to paint because it can do that. It can slay at the same time, which is kind of nice, but. Nice. Now we're just looking for one guy. Nice, oh, got him left. Nice. Pretty much the same of almost. Yeah, it pretty much honestly is. Like, you, if you, you if you if you apply that strategy into a lot of things for this mode, definitely because you cannot you can't just like push for a free uh, or expect to just like win a fight if you're only if you're only one up or if you're a man down or anything like that. Like, it's always better to just push with the team. Rainmaker, you might be able to get away with a couple of things because it's kind of a, it's a pretty fast mode and like you just I mean generally you want everyone to be up, but. You know, if you can, like, make those openings to do some crazy things, then, yeah, you might be able to make some things possible, but... So, you kind of apply the same strat. Uh, you have the people, like, you can pick up the Raymaker, obviously, but, like, you can have... You probably want to make sure that you have somebody leading you if you're holding the Raymaker or anything. Okay, well, that's the two guys are right there. I can push this. Nice. And we play them out. Tower control, it's the same thing. You got control of the tower. It's a matter of... Uh, you can only push the tower when you got when you're able to push them back because I mean in every game mode Usually when you get down two people that what they're gonna do is they're gonna move back and That's something that usually always happens because they're gonna be like first they're gonna be out painted So it's just like you know someone's not gonna stay on their ones to just try and paint Over paint the ink load of four people like it doesn't It doesn't work like that <laughs> Like I you may even be a splash or junior, but you're still probably gonna move back too but Yeah, man Oh, there is a guy still, still here. That's his badge. Oh wait, they have four people up now. We have four people up too, but should be able to quickly paint over it again. There's a guy right there, dude. I'm gonna push that. He's still here. I know he's still here, there we go. Alright, we're looking for... Okay, this guy is what you don't want to do. Right. Okay. Okay, okay, you just lose it though. I was thinking maybe I should just go for paying the zone, but I could get a free kill there as well. Nice. Yes, understanding substrating is like, yeah, you literally just have to not let go of the button, you know? Literally just not letting go of the button will, like, carry you. Like, when you're trying to learn how to substrate, like, the best way of doing it is just try to do it all the time. Like, everything you do, you know? That's how I learn it uh, for myself. Because at the start... What kept happening to me is that, especially using the 96 deco a whole lot, I'd throw my wall by accident. So, like, 
that was bad in itself <laughs> because I'm wasting so much ink. Uh, but over time, I just got very used to it, just like making sure I held it all the time. The more you do it, basically, what should happen is that it should just like get become ingrained into your head where it's like, all right, I, I don't even have to think about it now. It's just the thing that I will do it when I uh, when I come into a situation where I feel like I need to do it, you know? So it's not like a thing where, you know, you feel like you have to use it all the time. Just at the start, it's going to be like that because uh, that's going to help you learn it overall. So strafing is just all, all about um, keeping your momentum of speed. So like, there's basically no wrong situation uh, whenever you play, like whenever you're playing a game of Splatoon, there's no wrong situation for where a sub strafe isn't right because it's still going to be quick. It's going to be quicker than any option that you ever take. So that's why like when I say when you're trying to learn it, just do it all the time. With Absolutely anything you try to do in this game, you just do it all the time. You wish they made tutorials on some games, game modes. You literally ran into clans headfirst and it was confused. Yeah, I hope they do that for the next game. I, I've been like stressing this, like they need to have like a, a, a solid tutorial on what to do on every game type. Turf War is, is obviously self-explanatory, you paint the floor and you're already winning. <laughs> That's it. But there's no tutorial on ranked or how you play any game type. You just all go head first. And for real, if they don't do it in the next game, I'm gonna do it personally. Who knows what game type's gonna be there, but I shall do it. Because I'm just saying, like, I mean, technically they did do it within, like, the directs of uh, Splatoon 2. Technically. Or Splatoon 1, whatever. But not everyone's gonna watch that direct. A lot of people will, but not everybody will. Especially new players who, you know, just came in didn't even know what Splatoon was and someone recommended it to them and they told them the game was good. There's three people there, alright. I paid up most of the map. Well, along with the Jet Scorcher. I can paint that up as well. And then there's my armor and then we push. Go, 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 go. Good stuff. To flank as well, but we need to... Also capitalize on that. Oh, I ran out of ink. Alright. Chain one armor. Alright. Great push. We played so much like a team there. And that was actually the most incredible thing about that. Okay, that guy's literally dead. Wow, okay. Fall off. Pretty incredible. Come on, man. No justice for me, I guess. Wow, I'm lucky, dude. That was actually crazy how, like, we were all patient and we only pushed when we had armor. When, you know, when you coordinate as, just, as a team, you know? Don't just be silly and just push at random. And then we fight the Booyah Bomb together, bro. Like, what is this? Am I just in the perfect solo queue game right now? Wow, that was lucky. The guy right there. Nice fight him. Nice. Bro, this is legit perfection in solo queue. I'm gonna armor just to keep this. Yeah, that armor actually saves our Stingray's life. <laughs> I die, but it's, it's all good. We got the checkpoint. Okay, this could be bad. Nice, good fight. This team is doing the absolute impossible, and it's 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 such a pleasure to play, man. If all my solo queue games could be like this, obviously they can't. But when you get a team like this, it it, it, it just slaps, man. It slaps. What can I say? It really does. Oh, hello. Oh my God, I didn't even know you was there. This is x rank This is x rank guys. This is x rank that we all, that we all wanted. I'm going for my armor just to armor these guys, but they probably will back up. I mean, they're gonna fight it, so I'll armor you guys. Bro, he chained that armor so well, too. What the hell is this team? Like, he just- he changed the armor, like, absolutely perfectly. Expectation versus reality moment. <laughs> for real? <laughs> it's perfect, man.
We're losing this fight. We're losing this fight. It's fine. I'm sure that we're gonna come up with like the most skillful defense right now. My Jet Scorch is gonna get an armor. My End Zap's gonna paint for an armor. My End Zap is already painting for an armor, actually. You know what? Jumping back. Because we've got so many points already, so we don't even really need to do much. And they're just tossing Booyah Bombs around, so... <laughs> Missiles was perfect. Bro, that was the greatest solo queue team I've ever played on, man. <laughs> much love. I don't think it get be gets really better than that. I mean, it probably could, if, obviously, if we knock out, but... That was just fun to play. <laughs> that was just a fun game to play, man. Although we only get five points. But... That was a game, dude. Alright, okay, we have the... the... My compensation, why, dude? We're gonna flip in. Oh my god, I need to stop missing this jumper. The lead. Ooh. Oh my god, oh my god. Nice. I lived. Ah, oh, if I killed that brush, it would have made my life easier, dude. Oh, there we go, jumping here. Come on, man. I thought if someone jumped there. Oh my god, there's a freaking bomb there, dude. I didn't see it. Alright, we gotta hold on for two minutes. Two minutes, that's all we gotta hold on for. I mean, we're out painting them, somehow. We shouldn't be out painting them. Cool, good stuff, man. We got 30 seconds to hold. All right, the longer range weapons are there. I have no idea where this brush is, though. So. Okay, he's actually with them. Oh my god, I mean... Was that worth it, maybe? If I was a little quicker, that probably wouldn't have been worth it. But we can give up a bunch of points, and we're playing just like a three -year. Bro, 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 that's not it, that's not it. Good stuff. Nice. That's all it took, man. We did it! We worked together well though. It was a 3v4, but we did not care. We won. We came together and we got plus 15. Good points actually, dude. <laughs> a full 3v4, that's pretty good.